Have you ever made an ad before and you find out that some side are not really working out like the shape of that particular place it's not really exactly the way you want it so at this point what do you do do you really go back and start painting that particular place or you start painting your artwork from scratch well if you're doing that you better stop that because this video is going to show you how to manipulate some part of your artwork which is not really exactly the way you want it might not really be this might not really address the artwork to um, the normal way it's supposed to be but it's really going to help you but I'm going to tell you that out of 100% this is going to work for you 90% then the remaining 10% is just a bonus for you so without any wasting time let's get started Hi there, this is Mark from Creative Pen and today I'm going to show you guys how to make use of the liquify filter to adjust your artwork in a way that it's really going to be helpful and make so much sense to you. Now this is one of the artwork I did somewhere around last month and most of you guys might have watched the speed video or probably I might have made use of it in one of my story and secondly i'm not at home so if my screen is not really supposed to be the way it is and my um, photoshop workspace is not the way it is well i'm really sorry about that because i'm not making use of my desktop right now i'm making use of my laptop and practically i'm not at home so everything i'm using right here is to work movable items that i have which i have been using for so long but anyway let's keep that aside so coming to adjust your artwork in a way that is really going to be cool for you so i'm going to zoom in close into the eyes so let's say this part of the eyes is not really the way i want it to be or not really the way it is on the reference so let's say this part is not really going inside on you know my own painting but on the reference it's really going inside so how can you really adjust that well you can start over painting again you can do a paint over on this stuff and it's really going to make it look good but if you don't want to do a paint over how are you really going to do it well you can make you can do that with the liquify filter because the liquify filter is one of the tools in photoshop which you can use to manipulate things or to reshape things inside of photoshop i'm really going to show you how to make use of that liquify right now so after importing your artwork into photoshop or if you have finished you can just merge everything into one and do that so the next thing to do is just right click on your artwork and convert that into a smart object because this is a filter and you don't want to apply this filter in a destructive way and in case you find out that something is going wrong you can go back and fix it or just remove it you don't want to apply again or try to make use of the ctrl z button and so on that's why we are turning this into a smart object so that when we apply the filter it's going to create a sub layer under this our layer which we have right here so to make use of the liquify filter you just have to go up to filter and liquify or you make use of a shortcut shift plus control plus x to bring up the liquify filter <coughs> so inside the liquify filter this is what we have and if yours is not looking like this, definitely you are making use of probably Photoshop 2015 and below. But if you are making use of 2015.5 and above, then your local file should be looking exactly like mine right here. So at the right and left part of the screen, we have the tools and at the right part, we have some other options which we can use to manipulate our artworks or photos. Now, this is really, it's not the most that, it's not the most that you can use this on just only artworks. You can use this on photos and so on. So right here, we have the forward warp tool, we have the reconstruct tool and we have the smooth tool. We have the two clockwise to the pocket to the blood to push to and freeze max to and so on which we have right here. but i'm not going to go into all these stuff to show you how to make use of them i'm just going to show you the essential ones mostly the ones that i really make use of something like the face aware liquify and this forward, the forward warp to the block to and probably the freeze max to those are the common ones which i really make use of but most times in your artwork, you might not be really needing all these tools. Yes, 
not just all the tools okay so let's say right here as i told you i find something wrong for this part on this part of my artwork like the eyes is not really the place i want it to be so i can make use of the forward warp tool to adjust that you can see when you push this you can move this any way you want it to be you can even try to squeeze it it just depends now i'm going to warn you you should you come with this because it's going to require a lot of pc power to process all these stuff so just be calm while working on this if it's a little bit slow on your pc just become it's really going to work out so let's say i want to push this in a little bit now what i'm just going to do with the forward wrap to select it and you can make use of the bracket keys on your keyboard to increase and decrease the size of the brush just like in photoshop now i can just push this up a bit just like that now it's not really making any sense but i don't want it to make sense because I just want you to see exactly what I'm doing right here. Not really showing you how I'm going to do this because I've already fixed this after the art because I just make it a liquify tool to fix this part after the whole painting process and so on. So you can just use that to <clears throat> you can use it to adjust whatever part it is that you want to adjust. Or if you want to adjust some other part of the outside of it, you can also do that and you can increase the size of the brush just like this and you can use it to adjust it you can use it to reshape it you can use it to bring it out and you can use it to uh, take it in just the way you want it to be now this tool is very free-handed for you to manipulate your artwork or your folders any way you want it to be it's just for you to know what you really want to use it for and how you are really going to use it so the next one i'm going to be showing you here is the Poker to if I'm correct, yes. The poker to now, these two, it's let's really see what these two does. I really, I'm really sure I've not been able to make use of these two for so long. Okay, we are still selecting the so select the poker to and let's see what it does. This is what taking in some part of your artwork so you find out that some part is very big than some other part of your artwork and you really want to adjust those stuff you can all you can just what do that by what taking it by pressing it and it's going to take inside take it inside so you can see now the nose is just going inside the way i'm just pressing it like that giving my artwork a shapeless look and so now if you've done all these stuff and really want to go back to a certain stage which really like the work you don't really need to make use of the ctrl z option because we still have another option which you can use to do that inside here by coming down to the reconstruct option which is right here and hit on that reconstruct and with this amount slider you have you can decrease the way you want it to be so if i just want to totally undo everything i did so i may just hit it down to zero but if i just want a little bit of it maybe 50 percent of some else i can just make use of the slider to adjust it so i want this back to zero because what i did is totally rubbish so i don't really want it. i'm going to hit on it. okay now the other two right here which is the blood two this is doing the opposite of what the blocker two is doing which is what bringing it out instead of what taking it inside so you can use this to manipulate your artwork and do it any way you want it to be you can also make use of this to create a caricature that is if you really really know how to make use of it so the next thing i'm going to be showing you here is the freeze match tool this is one tool that is kind of like important but really not necessary most times when you are making use of it but it's really really important so with the freeze marks tool i can determine where i want to where i want the effect i'll be applying on my artwork to affect so if i say that I, I want to work on the eyes now like i want to work on the half points you can know, see this so if i said i want to work on the half point of my eyes just one part of it i want to work on the eyes but i don't really want it to affect every other part let's say i just want to work on only this part and i don't want it to affect this part and i want to work with a large brush how am i going to limit that so if i grab the forward wrap to and i try to adjust you can see that it's affecting everywhere right here so with this freeze max to i can just say okay i don't want this to affect this part of the eyes i only want this to affect only this part 
right here so now grab the forward warp two again or any other two and when you adjust you can see that it won't exceed the area you paint you see so now it won't affect this part that i paint because i have already told photoshop or tell the local five fifth that, that i don't want whatever thing i do to affect this part that i've already freeze with the freeze mask too so i'm going to undo that now to erase that you can just go back to the word towel mask too or wherever it is yes that is it and you can just erase that so those are just basic basic ones of the tools which you are really going to be using so much you can go and play with every other tools which is right here which is really going to be cool for you like the face too and so on which you can use to adjust your every every feature of the face manually you can do that manually but you still have the automatic options right here which i'm going to show you so i don't need all these stuffs here i'm just going to select the forward warp to and just do that stuff right there so here coming down to the right part we have the face aware liquify now this is the only thing i'm going to be showing you right here because this is the stuff that is really going to be helpful to you in artwork but the rest things here are not really useful anymore so right here at the top of this part the brush to option we have the size we have the density we have the pressure we have the rate all these stuff are very common which you can also just figure out yourself on how to make use of them now coming down to the face aware liquify the face aware liquify is used to modify the features of the face as it is right yeah so now the liquify is recognizing this artwork as an image just right here so we already have a face and we have everything in detail so i'm going to zoom in closely to the face so that you can really see exactly what is going on right here so the liquify recognize everything as just a human face which is really a human face so here we have the eyes and inside of the eyes we have a different slider we have the eye size eye height eye width and eye tilt all these things work separately on a separate part of the eyes but everything is under the word eyes as you can see right here in the drop down menu of the group which you are seeing right here so if i try to move the right slider upward you will definitely see that the right part of the eyes is going up or the left part of the eyes is going up and you can do the same thing to the right part of the eyes so you can play with this that is if you want to make a caricature of any artwork of your choice so let's say you want to make use of the same numbers on both places maybe you want to say 20 or maybe minus 20 or maybe higher than 20 or so, so let's just say i want it to be 50. now ask yourself this question do you really have to make use of the second slider to make it 50 trying to time up to 40 or so on or try to input 40 with the numpad or so on no you don't really have to do that if you look at the middle of all this stuff we have a link icon the chain icon right there which is link if you really know how to make use of link in photoshop then you get to understand this stuff so this link icon it's going to help us link these two sliders together linking the right eyes and the left eyes together so when we move each slider it's going to affect both of them at the same time so if i click on that link icon you can see that before we are having 40 here and we're having somewhere around below 40 at the right part but with the link icon selected you can see that we have 40 40 in both rectangle now so if i move on one particular layer both layers it's going to move affecting both eyes but i'm not doing anything right here so i'm just going to set them back to zero because i don't need it so the same thing applies to every other part of the eyes just like the height the width and the tilt so when you move when you make use of the link icon when you move one slider it's going to affect the other part of the slider and the more you keep moving you can see what's going on with only the eyes not affecting every other part like the nose mouth and the whole the entire face as a whole so i'm going to set this to zero because i'm not doing anything of such i just really want to show you and the last one we have under the eye tab is just the eye distance which you can use to you know increase the distance and decrease the distance of the eyes so at the, mid the middle it's set to zero the left is set to minus 100 and the right is set to 100 so you can play around with all those stuff and see which one that is really really going to benefit you then we have the nose the nose is just for you to adjust the height and the width of your nose so you can play around with all these stuff and really see which one is really going to be 
helpful to you or which is really going to help you to modify your ad so you don't have the mouth you can increase the smile you can decrease the smile that is if you don't want the person to smile or you want the person to smile you can just increase the smile or decrease the smile so if i increase it you can see how it's affecting my artwork in a kind of a nice way that is going to make sense now you can use this to give your artwork some kind of attributes after painting or after taking your pictures and so on or you can use this to create some funny effect on most of your friends pictures or probably even your own pictures and so on i'm going to set the smile to zero and you can adjust each of the individual leaves like the upper leaves and the lower leaves that is if you want something different or something specific or something unique in your art so the same thing applies to the lower leaves you find out that lower leaves is kind of too big you can just reduce it to something that is really going to fit what you want then the mark width you can play with the mouth with maybe it's too wide or white painting you kind of like paint more than the size of the mouth then you can use this to just adjust the size of the mouth right here without even going back to paint or trying to do a paint over or trying to erase what you've worked on and trying to paint again then we have the mouth height which can work so much on the mouth so let me set that to zero and lastly we have the face shapes i'm going to zoom out so that you can really see more on the face shape so now the face shape is going to work on the outside of the shape no more inside of the face inside of the face because all these options we've checked so far are the ones that works out inside the face itself modifying each and every attribute of the face but this is going to work on the face overall every part of the face this part is this face shape is really going to work it. so we have the forehead you can play around with the forehead like you can take it up you can take it down just depending on how you want the forehead to be so we have the chin you can increase the chin decrease the chin and so on we have the jaw lines you can increase the jaw just like that make the person fat make the person slim or trying to make the person look like an anime it's just the way you want to paint your artwork or how you want to edit your photo to be and lastly we have the face width which you can use to adjust the width of the face so you can make it small you can make it big that is if you want to make the person fat that is when you are going to make use of mainly this face shape or make the person slim that is when you are going to make use of these face shapes and so on so now once you're done with all your modifications and so on you can just hit on okay to go back into photoshop and whatever settings you've applied it's going to show up in your artwork and photoshop so right here you can see below the layer we have the smart filter options and under that smart filter option we have the liquify so let's say you make any mistake or you did something wrong or you just want to remove something you can just double click on that and it's going to take you back into the liquify filter without even you going up to filter and selecting the liquify filter again when you get there it's going to reload the mesh giving you exactly what you left before and make your necessary modification again which you want to do and hit on ok and you go back into photoshop so let's say you want to delete the filter you don't really want the filter anymore you just click and drag the liquify filter and you drop it to the delete icon and it's going to delete the liquify filter and that is it you can't make it on the liquify filter anymore because you just delete that from your layer so that brings us to the end of this video and i hope this really solved some kind of mistakes for you guys which you have been trying to go through some time trying to adjust some part of your faces and so on but you just really have to understand there is a lot of things you can do with this if i like if you're, if you're the type that want to paint a caricature or the type that want to paint a specific kind of an artwork you can make use of the liquify to modify all those stuff before even before you even start painting or you can paint and do that later on now i'm going to tell you don't try don't try to think that this is kind of like um a kind of a backdoor on digital ads which most people really don't make use of i'm going to tell you most of the digital artists who i know most of the top ones they make use of this to modify their artwork at the ending of everything i don't really want to start giving you a list of them but believe it most of them make use of it at the ending of the artwork just to give it some kind of a nice look that's really going to 
make sense so see you guys in my next video and don't forget to hit the subscribe button not just the subscribe button ring the bell icon so that you my friend don't miss any new tips and tricks of boosting every week